Meanwhile, New York City Mayor Eric Adams could be dragged into a China-linked corruption case over his senior advisor and top fundraiser, Winnie Greco's ties to the Chinese Communist Party. Greco resigned as New York's director of Asian affairs last Monday, according to The New York Times. She's guided politicians toward being pro-Beijing. Uh, and she's led visits to China with Eric Adams and other city officials and business people. Mayor Adams has already pled not guilty to five counts of charges that include bribery and fraud. Prosecutors warned earlier this month that they are pursuing several related investigations that could lead to more corruption charges for Adams and other indictments for more people in his orbit. A number of candidates are now mulling a New York mayoral run if Adams resigns or if he's ousted, including my next guest. Joining me now is the chairman and CEO of United Refining Company and Red Apple Group, John Katsimatidis. John, are you considering running for mayor of New York City? Well, the consideration is certainly there, Maria. I mean, we need uh, common sense to prevail. Uh, among the people who are considering it, I hear uh, Mike Bloomberg is considering it, which, which he is a very fine individual, and, and uh, if he could do it, then he should uh, try to do it, too. Uh, Governor Patterson, uh, who's on our show uh, a few times a week, uh, is a very capable individual. We need common sense individuals to, for New York to make a comeback because we're losing it, Maria. I mean, it, it, it's a mess. The streets are a mess. The crime is a mess. And no matter what the crime statistics are, people are scared to walk around. And, and that's what the truth is. Yeah. Well, what about this story about Patterson? Um, the former governor, Patterson, was attacked. Did he talk to you about that on your show? Absolutely talk to me about my show. He's a good friend, and uh, we've been very good friends uh, for a long time. Uh, on 96th Street and 3rd Avenue, uh, him and Curtis Lee was uh, 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 son, uh, were walking the dog, and wow, like seven, eight, nine people attacked him. Uh, I'll get you the video if you'd like to see it. it, it, it it's a mess. When the former governor gets yeah. beat up like that, I mean, it's a time to say, you know, ring the bell. Something's wrong. So, I mean, he was on your WABC radio show, The Cats Roundtable, and he was telling you about he and his stepson were beaten up by a group of teenagers and two housing authority workers on the Upper East Side. What, what exactly happening? Because I know that there was a quote we saw. He said, annoying how New York's criminal justice system is treating these kids who start fights as if they should be coddled. New data obtained by the New York Post shows assaults on new NYPD officers have skyrocketed to unprecedented levels, surging 41 percent so far this year and 60 percent compared to 2019, John. Maria, if they're beating up cops and they're hurting cops, what does the ordinary citizen? They don't have a chance. And, and uh, it's gotten down to that point. I said to him that he should talk to the people in the state assembly and in the uh, state senate. Enough is enough. You know, there's a point when you reach where enough is enough. And you, you, we got to bring safety back to New York. 500,000 people have moved out since COVID. And you know who moved out? The people that, that could have spent a lot of money in restaurants, spent a lot of money on uh, cars, spent a lot of money on Ubers. And you know who moved in? The migrants. I mean, the, 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 you can't make this up. And, and we're paying the migrants to move in, and the yeah. people that make a million dollars a year moved out. I mean, this, enough no, is I enough. I understand. I understand. And, and the administration is saying that it's misinformation that they used FEMA money, emergency money, for the migrants, but Karine Jean Pierre said they were using that. And even Mayorkas testified they were using FEMA money for other purposes other than emergency. I spoke with former President Trump about all of this on Sunday Morning Futures yesterday. We talked about his campaign rally at Madison Square Garden in, Garden in New York City on October 27th. I want to get your take. Watch this. You told me back in February that you were going to rent out Madison Square Garden for a rally. Yeah. And now you're going to do it at the end of October. Not only Madison Square Garden, we're taking four or five arenas. We fill them up very fast. As you know, we took where the Islanders play in Long Island. We had, I guess, 22, 23,000 people. And we could have sold it out literally three times. We had thousands of people. We had tens of thousands of people that couldn't get in. We put screens on the outside of the building so they could see it. But that was incredible. And we just signed on Madison Square Garden. Uh, we're 
probably going to make a deal in Atlanta. We're trying to get the Atlanta arena, and we fill them up in, in minutes, and there's a great enthusiasm. I think people. Madison Square Garden can only hold 20,000 people. You know, we're going to fill it up very fast. It's true. So, John, what about that? Is there an enthusiasm in New York for change? I mean, how do you see New Yorkers voting uh, next month? I think a lot of New Yorkers, a lot of people have said uh, President Trump, whether you like him or you don't like him, he's the only one that's capable of ter terrorizing the terrorists and bringing law and order back to America. And that's what, what's important right now. Uh, yeah. I mean, America, we're losing, uh, we got wars all over the place. I said yeah. to, I, I said to uh, Admiral Stavridis yesterday, how many wars uh, can you have before you call it a world war? I mean, we're all over the place. Yeah. Israel, Lebanon, uh, Ukraine, uh, it's just, it, it is a big, uh, abysmal. Uh, S show. Abysmal. I don't want yeah. to say the word, but a big S show. Uh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, the S H uh, blank T. Let me get your let me get your take real quick before you go, John. Oil prices and overall inflation going up or down by year end. What do you think? Well, the big decision. I, I, I argued with Larry Kudlow. The big decision is on November fifth. If people think Donald Trump is going to win, oil prices will go down. If people think that Harris is going to win, you're going to see a hundred dollar oil again. Oh gosh, not good. That would not be good. John, thank you. Great to see you, cats. Thank you, Maria. See you at the parade. John Katsimatidis. I'll see you then. <laughs> Happy Columbus Day. We'll be.